Today we're talking about a sensitive and clearly emotionally charged parenting issue, which is gender identity in children. Now, Tony says her son started transitioning uh, at a very early age and that she still is mourning the loss of the son she once had, but definitely loving and supporting and guiding what is now her daughter. She says she feels that having lost the son was not easy, uh, but again, she embraces the child that, that she now has. Endocrinologist Dr. Eva Quinar says parents need to wait and see what happens with puberty and not give in to the child's fantasy of wanting to become the opposite sex. Dr. Joe Olson, pediatrician with the Transgender Clinic at Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, says children are born this way and she helps them make the transition through hormone therapy. Uh, Dr. Olson, uh, at what point do you begin that? It's a different process for each child. It's really important to recognize that young people and their families come in in very different stages of this process. Many of the people that we see have actually already gone through puberty, but we do have some patients that are young in the 12-year-old, 12, 12 to 16-year-old age range as well. However, I just want to say that we don't just provide hormone therapy for young people, and not all young people who want to transition get hormones. We have a multidisciplinary approach in our clinic where they are assessed by a psychologist who is extremely familiar with gender questioning youth, gender identity disorder, um, and the issues that these young people face, as well as a case manager who understands what these young people go through. And hormones are not the end all, at the end of that story for every young person. All right, and you work with the family members as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's not just something you do with the child in isolation. Absolutely, and we have many family parents who experience the same kind of mourning that Tony's and Dr. Quinar, do you think there's ever a point that uh, hormone blocking therapy is appropriate? I do. I think that, as um, everybody mentioned before, there's a spectrum of this transgender, and I do believe as well that gender is a definition between the eyes and not between the legs and that there are certain chemical phenomena and chromosomal phenomena that occur both in utero and as we develop that makes us appear one sex but actually a different sex i prefer waiting through puberty to see what actually happens when the hormones kick in there are situations where you have distress and, and suicidal ideation because of that fear, but hopefully the family will, will be there for the child to help them get through that process. So I like to see the whole adolescence be, be complete, essentially, before I do anything permanent. We'll be right back.